What's up, my AMC family, my retail family, my eight family? How we doing? Let's get it started, all right? So remember, first off, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, right? So don't take it as that. Take it for educational purposes, all right? So I do have some stuff that I want to talk about today that I think is going to, um, you know, give you some, some confidence and some confirmation that we do have a move coming for both GME and AMC, guys. Um, this is going to be an informational video on what's going on in the options chain. Something, you know, sparked my interest and I started looking into it a couple months ahead and stuff. And so I think there's some really unusual activity in the options chain that I'm going to talk about in this video. Right. So please like that video. I mean, please like this video. Right. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. You know, uh, subscribe if you want. If you feel like I can bring you some value so we can get the message out to other apes as well. Right. So I do have some important, important information now. My first thought of with all of this is that I do believe that GME and AMC are going to mow ass or squeeze at the same time, okay? Because the shorties cannot afford to have like say GME squeezes, right? And they make a bunch of money. They can't afford to have them roll over that money and put it into AMC and then blow up and make more money. Because if we look in the past, guys, you can go ahead and look at yourselves, right? Every single time GME has a run, you know, there's been times where it runs like 30%, 20%, 40%, right? Even after hours and stuff like that. And AMC goes right with it, all right? And that's because of the algos and that's because it's the same people, the same shorts that are shorting this, right? So that's why they move in tandem, okay? So it's going to be... I think around the same time when these both take off, in my opinion, right? Nothing is guaranteed in the market. Remember that, guys, okay? But I do have this data that is, like, really interesting. And like I said, it does have to do with the options chain. If you don't know about options, well, you might understand a little bit of it, need to go study. But this is this is something that I think that people who do understand options need to pay attention to. And also remember that they said that, you know, supposedly back... When even when the first squeeze with GameStop, right, when that happened, uh, they said it had to do with it was a gamma squeeze, right, having to do with the options chain that it wasn't the short squeeze, right. So the real short squeeze, guys, remember, it's going to be violent and intense and way more than even what GameStop did back when it went from four to five hundred, four dollars to five hundred dollars, right. Now, remember when AMC went from twelve to seventy two, um, that was supposedly also a little bit of short covering, but also a gamma squeeze having to do with the options chain, right. So let's just not uh, waste too much time here in this part, you're right? Uh, let's not use too much time. Let's just jump into this data, all right? Okay, I'm on the screen here. Let's roll into it over here. The first thing, like I said, that the reason why I started looking into this was because of this article that I had talked about. Um, do options traders know something about AMC stock that we don't, right? So when I saw this, investors in AMC need to pay close attention to the stock based on the moves of the options market lately that is because the april 22nd 2022 51 call right the 51 dollar price uh, strike had some of the highest implied volatility of all equity options today right in that day in the whole market okay so then when you jump over here and i'm just going to use this you know it's robin just to show you the options chain and the dates so we got to pay attention to the dates i'm on calls right and I'm not saying to go buy or sell or anything like that. I'm just showing you what is uh, going on here. And it has to do, I think, with the market makers, right? So we go up. Right now is April 14th. The highest one you can buy is $60 strike, okay? And I started to go along, move along, right? I went out further, the 29th. And as I started to scroll up, and remember, you know, AMC's at $18 right now. 51 right? And then as we go into May, guys, watch. 51 was the highest. Let's go up 51. Let's see, is it May 13th? Oh, it even goes lower, 43. Is it May 20th? All right, now 60 is the highest. Let's go to May 27th. 40. All right, all right, you ready? <laughs> all right, all of a sudden it starts to get higher, right? Now we're at 85, right? And this is June 17th. And I'm not saying that it will happen on this day or that day. I'm just telling you like a range of dates of what looks like that's really interesting here on the options chain. All right. Then all of a sudden, by July 15th, guys, the 145 strike is back. Okay. Why would they do that? Right. The market makers, they move the prices in the options chain based on the underlying stock. Right. So it's really, really interesting on July 15th. Right. 
and this can happen if you understand options it doesn't have to happen on that date it could happen anywhere you know right a week before two weeks before who knows like the sooner it happens if you have these calls the more money you make right now let's go to september then they drop it back down to 50 guys okay so in my opinion i think there is a big move coming for amc right just based off this information right now and gme right when i started looking into gme right now the current price is like 140 to 145 right so we're on april the highest you can buy is 395 same same dates look let's go to may 20th you start to move along and you start to see that it starts to go up 390 is the highest so this is what you call unusual options activity right because why are they more than doubling the strikes hmm? 310 right may 27 we're gonna go out to the same date july as i did right now with amc right but this is GameStop. let's go let's go let's go 500 right so a stock that's 145 dollars you can buy strikes that are all the way to 500 right and it's kind of interesting on my phone it says like 680 or something like that which is kind of weird let's see october yeah because they were a little bit higher but what I'm trying to get at is that the market makers here are kind of signaling, right, that there might be something coming, right, a big move. Now, that's in a little bit more of a midterm, right, perspective. Looking at the chart, this is the daily. I do expect a little bit more downside, guys, right? Um, and to me, this was all, you know, manipulated, right? This doesn't look natural. Like, you have a huge pop. And then it's just, I think it's just computers, algorithms, just, you know, forcing it down, literally forcing it because, you know, there's, there's been a lot of videos out there, information that said, like, if we would have, this was their breaking point right now, right? But for some reason, it got halted, right? But I like to use this super trend. So this just turned red, guys. Like, we were in a, in a green super trend until it hit here. Now it's going to start going back down. So short term, this coming week. I'm not super bullish on it, right? It might come back down. It's going to want to come down and test right here where we took off. So around $15 or $16, all right? And that's not to spread FUD or nothing. That's just the way it's looking. And then, like I said, based on this information and the chain, um, and you can go verify it here too. Watch, I, I went over to the options chain on Yahoo. This is for AMC. These are the dates. Let's go over to the July. And again, look at this, $145 strike, right? 87,000 open interest right now, guys. Nuts. And then, let's see, what's it, the put side, yeah, from 145 down, right? There is a lot of them that are in the money. And then the other thing I want to point out, right, is that the reason I'm a little short-term more, you know, bearish right now that I think it's going to go down a little bit is because... When you look at this, this is the weekly chart, right? You see that AMC mostly has red days. It has more red than green days, okay? But it also has very huge green days, right? So that's how I that's why I think once we can break and make our move, start to, you know, move our way past up this set of new all-time highs, it'll happen really fast, guys, because it's already happened twice like that, right? Twice. And with the shorts always fighting us, right? Which is 50%, 60%, 70% shorting on the daily basis, they're going to always fight us, right? And that's why you see more red than green days, right? But, you know, I could see it coming down here and bouncing off because this is the hard support, right? So it would have to bounce off of this line and start making its way back up. And then once we can break 34, you know, that's when you see it take off, in my opinion, guys. All right, so, you know, I know it's the weekend. There's no line. Um, you don't have to stress, right? <laughs> Let me switch this back, guys, uh, to this part. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to stress this weekend, right? We're chilling. We're waiting for the MOAS. But like I said, I think that GME and AMC will MOAS at the same time because they cannot afford to lose both uh, or lose that much money when they're already going to be losing billions, right, as far as, like, the short sellers. And some of them are probably going to go bankrupt, right? We know that, that uh, they're over leveraged. And that's how we're waiting on, guys. It's going to be a, a break like that, a snap. 
and uh yeah that's why i had to bring this video to you guys today like i said please like the video you know leave me a comment your opinion do you think they will more asked at the same time and i will get back to you as soon as i can um i was sick you know i had a i don't know what the heck happened i had a stomach virus or something the past couple of days where cold or not a cold i had a fever i had a you know loose stomach i had freaking a body aches it was it was nuts but i think i'm better now right i'm getting through it uh so yeah i love you guys thank you family i'll catch you guys this week and we'll see what happens all right peace